right. We're actually going to just start off with. Uh, Okay, well, there you've got that message. I was actually looking for that message, which is signed by the management, but no problem. So we've seen that. That's where we'll just start off today. Uh, we're joined this morning. Yes, you can come back to the studio now by the general manager, uh, operations and channels, Mr. Kerry can tell me. Well, thank you for coming on today. Yes, thank you very much. Well, I'm actually happy people asking questions. When they saw that message, which uh, we were looking out for, and of course, expected the calls will always ring and ask it. Guys, what's going on? Um, but could you tell us? Uh, you never can explain to everybody at the same time. So, what happened? Well, Why um, I think I'll use this opportunity first of all to say thank you very much to all our viewers and all those who have supported Channels Television over the years. Um, we definitely feel like we do owe an apology to all those who have prepared and from what we gathered. Quite a few people have traveled from far and near with a view to be at this event today. Uh, we have had an unforeseen circumstances that has led to a situation where the management of channels television had to be very, very responsible in the way we handle things and make sure that uh, we postpone the event. The event is postponed with a view to uh, make sure that we put things in order and get it all sorted and then reconvene and make it happen again. It's supposed to be what we call a CSR initiative, a corporate social responsibility. On the one hand, Channels Television is a television house where our responsibility is to make sure that we show what happens in our society, in our community, in the country and around the world. That's our responsibility primarily. And in doing that, in fulfilling all righteousness as far as that is concerned, that is why we have come up with the police college and we've exposed what we felt is a rot in that institution. When you look at the trend in Nigeria with regards what has been happening with our security, we have seen that there is something a bit more fundamental, far beyond what a lot of people look at. We look at, oh, they don't have infrastructure, they don't have equipment, they don't have this. But the real thing is not the number of ammunition and guns and equipment that you give them. It is first and foremost the training that you give the police. And that's what we have said we have to go back to the basics. Let's go back to the very beginning. The training that we'll give our cadets and the recruits, if we get that right, then we'll be in a position where we can then progress to the kind of equipment and infrastructure that they have at their disposal to make sure that they're able to do their job. That's why we have chosen this as our CSR. So uh, if I have to come in here, in other words, it means that when we talk about training here, uh, it goes beyond the physical aspect, of, uh, but you're talking about even the mental uh, training that they should get from such institutions. All the elements of training, you start with the knowledge of the theory of what you're supposed to do the understanding of the law that you're supposed to go out there and defend and protect and make sure that people obey, then you go on to the question of managing and policing the communities in which you're supposed to work. Then you go on to in situation where you have to defend lives and property of individuals or of corporate organization or of the entire country, then you're going to need guns, you're going to need buttons, you're going to need a number of other things. But if you have a situation where the environment where you're being trained, you don't have libraries that is functional, you don't have libraries that's got the kind of books that bring you to the 21st century, you don't have computers, you don't have the kind of thing that expose you to other police officers around the world they take for granted and you don't have any of those and to even make matters worse a place that's supposed to be your firing range your shooting range you don't have it functional so you don't have those things that will enable you be able to perform and you're then given guns to go out and shoot how are you supposed to function all of those things are the things that channels television has seen and we said it's one thing for us to say 
let's go out there and make all the noise and let people know. But we should do more than that. As a corporately socially responsible, as a corporate social responsibility, we've said, let us take it one step further. Let us see how we can get Nigerians, especially corporate Nigeria that has a lot at stake, because if anything goes wrong in this country, the corporate world will be the first to suffer because if people can't go to work, if there's armed robbery everywhere, if there is all kind of unsettled environment, disharmony within the country, it will affect businesses. So the businesses around Nigeria has got to join hands together to make this happen. And no. in doing that, it is, it is important that we still do this. We just have to make sure that all the T's are crossed, all the I's are dotted. For yeah, us to make it's it a good thing you say that because I, I, one word I picked when you said it was supposed to be uh, see us, uh, is channel television changing its mind on what it wants to be, it's CSR. No, we have not changed the mind at all. Uh, the management of channels, television is taking it that this is our CSR. We have not dropped this wall. We have not completely abandoned it. It, it gladdens our heart when we see what happens around the country in terms of how the police officers around the country feel, how Nigerians have responded. A large number, sizable number of uh, corporate leaders in the country have been calling the management of channels, television, saying, we're backing you on this. We're supporting you on this one. How do you hope to sustain the interest of corporate Nigeria, especially those people who have shown interest in wanting to do something for the police project? Well, we intend to sustain this by making sure that we continue to sensitize Nigerians on this issue. We continue to deal with a number of people in business, in politics, in civil society, uh, talk to them, engage them, and keep their interest until at that time. It's not going to be a long term. We're not talking of, oh, no, we're not going to do this until next year. That's not the point we're making. It's got to happen. It's got to happen pretty soon. And part of what we will be doing on channels television is what we've been doing over the last uh, few weeks and months which is to continue to talk about it. And that's why I am yeah. here. Does this affect in any way our editorial judgment? Does it affect our editorial judgment? Absolutely not. Our editorial judgment is to make sure that we expose things that's happening in the society. We take a decision on that. That cannot be compromised. You might as well shut down channels television if suddenly people begin to tell us what we can put on air and what we cannot put on air. That is not something that can be compromised for one second. The management of channels television, we feel ethically responsible to the extent that we will do anything within our power to ensure that our editorial judgment is not compromised. Changing the date of a CSR initiative has nothing, absolutely nothing, to do with our editorial judgment. When you talk about our editorial judgment, you're talking about the fact that we decided when we wanted to expose what we saw as a rot in this society, as a rot in the police, and that one we cannot compromise. But when you're talking about our CSR, a number of telecoms companies, banks, a number of other corporate organizations, they give vehicles, they give, they donate equipment to the police. There is no noise about it.